guys it's officially the beginning of the trip so we're just leaving the slow lunch now we had some food we're about to go board i had um a drink savannah feeling bloated now i shouldn't have had that but i need it i'm so tired so i'm wearing my sheen outfit and then i just put this on to be a little warm and then i have my carry-on in my backpack over there so see you when we get to italy couldn't stand tall so why didn't you why didn't you call so many years gone by but i think about you about you all the time looks like you're changing and all Connecting flight. Do you guys remember our situation with Doha the last time? The last time someone was here. It was here, and it, I was going to bed, and I had to call an Uber and send an Uber to Doha Airport <laughs> without knowing <laughs> what I ever like. been here and ever knowing what it looked like. And I was busy communicating with this driver, and he's like, second lane. And I'm telling this girl, second lane, and she doesn't know what second lane is. And I'm telling nigga, nigga, this girl doesn't know what second lane is, and I don't know what second lane is. So you're gonna have to make a plan. But yeah, now we're here. And there's a giant teddy bear here. Guys, I'm so tired. Yeah. We're going to our boarding gate. Huh? Look inside your case, I need a So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? so hotel tour i just wanted to start from the elevators when you come from the elevators there's a mirror there and then we obviously walk down the corridor me and tina are in room three two two right over here and then this is our walkway so as you enter over here there's a place for your bags obviously um, and then the first door leads to the bathroom we have a nice vanity mirror with the light here and then we have one sink we've got the toilet with the bidet and then we have a phone in the bathroom <laughs> how weird and then this is the shower in here it's a very nice shower obviously the head does come off detachable head there we go it's in the bath then you come straight into the bedroom we have um yeah a bed they don't they don't split us because we don't mind sharing the bed obviously if it's a um, twin do you see how you'd have those two split but yeah we just have a single room 
and then that's like the closet over there with a little mini bar over here and there's still some space so we've put like our alcohol over here we got some alcohol from duty free bottle of amarula and a bottle of tanqueray we also have a full mirror over here to like double check your outfits some more space for your luggage and stuff to like place to hang then we have a little tv and the sitting area and then on the outside we have our balcony hey tina <laughs> you don't have to hide um and then from this is the view from the balcony you can see all of this literally and it's extremely hot guys like one thing about europe heat the sun here it's hot. is hot it's not even i don't know how to explain it but it's really hot so yeah this is the room hey beautiful people so um did i mention that we took a nap so me and my sister uh like took a nap showered now and we are we both showered, then took a nap because i think i didn't get oh yeah we showered then took a nap sorry we showered Tina doesn't like people thinking that she's a dirty girl. She's not a dirty girl. She's a very clean girl. We only took an hour nap and we just woke up. You can hear it in my voice that my body is exhausted. But we are not letting a day go to waste. So I've just fixed up my hair. I'm about to do my makeup now. Well, I've already started doing my makeup. Let me not lie. Um, so as you can see, I'm just letting my... Um, what do I call this? The concealer sit up on my face a little bit and just look at my foundation from this side i think i do need to touch it up a little bit on certain spots so that's exactly what i'm gonna do now um yeah and then tina's doing her makeup in the bathroom and then i'll show you guys my first outfit of the vacation which is so cute and i was telling tina i need to wear it now before i get fat because it's pads and they're already a tight fit when i fitted them on so i'm like mm -mm, i know i'm gonna put on some weight so no so i'm not wearing this towards the end no ways. Hey guys. So we're fully dressed now. Makeup done. Um, I actually need to get a few snaps for my reel that I'm doing. I need to help me find a spot. Um, but we had just pizza. Just a little bit. Because we're going to have dinner with the whole group later. So we don't mind have something too filling. Oh, we just came out of the pharmacy to get like some antihistamines how did you explain the antihistamines i'm like can i get some antihistamines she's like okay and i'm like and i'm drowsy she's like that huh? i'm like one that's not gonna make me sleep and this like itchy you know mm -hmm. and but, she figured it out. yeah but anyway guys you can see that's this tobega at the back and the husband we're already tense i know hello oh the fun thing is eating your gloss or eating your foundation you know yeah you mustn't wear them again it's a bag like a little spot you won't see it on camera but yeah guys we are in italia <laughs> huh what it is not this hot in africa i'm tan i'm sorry but, but what is this what is this i'm sorry no what is this no broth no broth we're burning no broth. the heat guys broth. when i when i told broth. you the heat in europe is different it's not like the one it's flaps different than the one from africa we're not even outside for two hours and we're burnt. I'm tan. What did you say to me? So guys, I just bought a SIM card that me and Tina are gonna share. It was 30 euros. Do the math. <laughs> Tina quickly did the math and said no. I'm so we, sorry, Bob. No. <laughs> but we get 70 gigs. I guess. And free calls. <laughs> Mom. Okay. Hey. I need to find ourselves in my And it's so dirty. <laughs> Why is it so dirty? There's papers everywhere. They don't use their bins. Oh, ew. Good morning, guys. Oh, good morning. It's so early in the morning. So we decided that we wanted to get pictures at the fountain without people in them. Because obviously you do know that it's like 
busy season tourist season so we woke up early we woke up at four in the morning it is currently where's my phone it is currently 5 16 i checked the sunrises at 5 45 so we're gonna leave at 5 30 on the dot so we can just be there like a few minutes after the sun rises get our pictures then when everybody floods to the fountain we already have some nice images with our people in them crossing fingers hopefully um so we're gonna go downstairs and meet the rest of the group while the people that actually wanted to wake up early with everyone else i don't think everyone is going to the fountain in the morning um it totally depends so this is what i am wearing this um two-piece outfit is an outfit i got from sheen um yeah yesterday we did go to bed early like we just had a drink and then went to bed early we we're really tired and we still woke up tired because i think we only slept at one so we really didn't get that much sleep the thing about traveling and wanting to get content it's very hard to like fit in some sleep but i love how my makeup turned out in a very quick like it's like a very quick 30 minute like 20 minute beat i would say so yeah i'm done already looking pretty let me see from this angle oh i haven't set my face that's what i haven't done let me just spray oh, put you guys here so i'm using the urban decay all nighter Don't be stingy with setting spray, especially if you want your face to last all day. But now that I've done my makeup right now, the only thing I'm probably going to do throughout my day is like just touch up with powder. So the powder that I use um, is this Maybelline Fit Me. It's in the shade 340 Cappuccino. And that's what I also use to set my face. So, Huh? Yeah. Hmm? This is what my thing I look like. Hmm? Guys, we're at the fountain. strike we made on time because our uber take took so long it took 30 minutes so we managed to get photos before like everybody as you can see like already like the fountain is like people taking photos so i hope you guys can hear me later it will be much fuller than this so we grab some photos and then after we'll go have breakfast so we're done with the um Clevy fountain and then now we are going to the spanish steps the rest of the group is behind so like it is like a big group this time the first time i booked with yellow hats it was a group like well, just three of us and the host and this time it's the host and i think there's like about 11 of us if i'm not mistaken so it is a bigger group um so everyone is still behind walking tina is just ahead and like yeah i'm just so happy Really? Yeah. Thank you. Is it from Sheen? Yeah. I didn't show them what you're wearing. Can I show them? Yeah. Actually, I did. Did I show them on my so, blog? This is Tandy's outfit. Hey! No, so we're just walking. <laughs> There's Tina. Let's see your outfit, Tina. So, this is my outfit. I'm wearing Loki Dolce & Gabbana. Uh -huh. you know, this is Dolce & Gabbana. Hit me up if you'd like to order. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your personal shopper. Your, I'm, your, your I, Sheen Dolce & Gabbana. I am the plug. Okay. Who ordered the Azul? <laughs> oh, tell me. <laughs> I totally forgot. I am the Azul today. Yeah, oh, who, who ordered the Azul? You yeah, ordered yeah. the Azul. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. No, my friend. I am the Azul. The uh, Azul is me. I can see it. Thank you, man. If you want to buy anything, who ordered Azul? Guys, these are the Spanish steps. So it goes all the way down. All the way down. It's still so bright and early in the morning right now. Uh, we haven't even had breakfast yet. Oh, there's Paul. I was just about to say.
guys we just walked down this whole street and basically this street is where all the fashion is like so you can see d squared it was like your valentinos your um every like fashion brand you can think of like your chanel um literally almost every fashion it's just like the shops are closed so i literally forgot to vlog that but like literally any brand you can think of i just passed it now hi guys um update so we went to you guys remember we went to the stairs so early in the morning Yo, it was so early and my voice is going back to being tired again let me just close this door in case like there's too much noise from the outside it sounds so tired our room is a mess please don't mind it it's literally like a travel room right now um tina actually borrowed me her earrings because my other earrings were hurting me and these are from sheen she's become such a good sheen shopping babe come they see you you look so pretty thank you look look at this is your voice thank you mm -hmm. you uh, sound tired sound like a drunkard <laughs> <laughs> okay so like basically now we're going to do a walk a four hour tour of rome and the best thing we had to do was like you know switch it up to like sneakers she's wearing sneakers so we're both wearing sneakers for the tour because like when you wear sandals guys like the cobblestones your feet hurt after a while so i would highly recommend like packing sneakers on this trip so basically you can see how tan we are now we showered and then we applied more sunscreen and then you know we applied perfume and the way it's so hot i would highly recommend getting yourself a perfume that's an oud if you would like that lo long lasting effect because just wearing normal perfume you tend to like get it's very humid you like how do i explain that your body just gets hot and like you need something to keep you smelling good so i would recommend an oud which we had found at the airport and we're both questioning ourselves should we get it should we not and now we're like we should Maison have Francis. there was this amazing maison francis uh cardigan perfume um she liked the other one and i like the other one so we're both gonna get them on our way back home um I think you should get them because not going through Doha. oh yeah that was a but we can always check here yeah. let's just go see how much it is in milan yeah, we'll check it in Milan, and then if it's cheap, yeah, we'll also oh, just get yeah, it. Well. Do you think yeah. we'll find it? Oh, sure. Okay. okay. You can go away to find a room tomorrow and go check. Yeah, tomorrow's our free day, so we might go look for it and purchase it here. So it all depends, but yeah, guys. Um, I'll see you guys when we're with the rest of the group downstairs, and probably when we start walking, so. So guys, on this walk, from this walk, we are no longer in Italy. This is the Vatican City, which is considered its own country. We're on a tour. A walking tour. There was not a square. Here was a forest. There was nothing here. It was a hill. The video was killed here, crucified like priests with the head, with the, the legs uh, up uh -huh. and the head down. And they found the tomb of St. Peter here. They built, they built the basilica mm -hmm. on the spot where St. Peter's was uh, was crucified, mm -hmm. and they call it St. Peter's Basilica. Oh, okay. And okay. he was the first pope. He was the first yeah. pope. Okay. And this is St. Peter's was made by my Bruni. Uh, <laughs> If you see in the if you're gonna look in the map on in Google Maps as well, you're gonna see a red sign yeah. all around the Vatican. So now I'm in the Vatican. You guys are in Italy. Oh. <laughs> so this is Italy. Yeah. This is Vatican City. This is the border, guys. So the Vatican is another separate country. Yeah. How, how, how it looks like, you know? Now this is the Vatican. Oh, these are all no, it's paid. Egyptian. Uh, the Romans built this obelisk in Egypt and then brought, uh, built a special boat to bring this obelisk here in the city of Rome. It's the only obelisk that was not cut to, to bring him here 2000 years ago. They built a big boat 
just to bring the the um, obelisk here in Rome. Mm -hmm. Then the boat was so big that they 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 made they transformed the boat in a bridge and uh, over the the river of Tiber 2000 years ago. Now the bridge doesn't exist anymore. The basilica you're gonna see it here on the left. Okay. Back in Italy, just left the smallest country in the world. Literally took us five minutes to get from the one gate to the next. But anyway, if you want to stamp from the Vatican to prove that you came into their country, it is a long process. You can apply for it online um, to get your passport stamp. You have to get like a visa apparently and you apply for it online. That's if you really, really want that stamp in your passport to prove that you've been to the Vatican. Yeah. Please bring hats. Do you see this? Bring hats. This place is not for just walking like a free. And sunscreen. Yeah. Mason. Yeah. Don't say that because they are here. And the reason why human technology advanced by Italy in many, many aspects. But you're not going to find water in the street. No, no, no. no. Mm. What is the source of this? Oh, a Dalmatian. Yeah, this is from, this water. It's coming from the mountain. Oh, it's like a spring or something. It's the real, real fresh water comes from the mountain. It does taste like tea water. The mountain yeah. doesn't taste like tap. Yeah. Uh -uh. Guys, so these are all the embassies of the different countries Thank you. for the Vatican City and then obviously Italy has its own You know actually why this is so famous? Why? Because before, was not so, because actually Leonardo da Vinci made much more beautiful other uh, pictures yeah. than this. This, if you have a look quietly, it's not so, has nothing so special. It's a mm. woman looking at us with a strange. Just a bland look. Uh, we don't uh, actually understand what she's sending us uh, as a message in his face, in her face, no. Mm -hmm. But this, uh, this picture was in the Louvre Museum and the guardian that uh, supposed to to take care of her mm -hmm. stole it and bring he bring this uh, the this um, the, no the fact that he actually stole it and uh, left nothing on the wall and he he go at his home he put it under his bed and he keep the, the picture there for like four years everybody was uh, Wondering where is the original, where is the original. Then one day the police go at home at that guardian, found her under the bed, and this all about this all the uh, journals and all the the news was talking about years and years, and that's why it's famous now because she, it was told he traveled to Italy. Actually, he he came. It was an Italian guardian. No, <laughs> he stole it. He came with the, yes, the sure. in, in Italy. They found it and they get back in no, in France. Oh, the, 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 the artist, the yeah. Artist. You're gonna go to Milan as well, Milano? Yes. So there is a real Leonardo da Vinci Cenacolo. I will show you something that you definitely don't have to miss. And I'm really sure that you already saw it. So who exactly is Milan? So was it Leonardo's girlfriend? We never know. I'm like, you know what? Maybe just get a person because the Small street. Small street. How much is the We are waiting for gelato. We are waiting for gelato. Gelato. Mm -hmm. So apparently this is one of the best gelato spots around. So that's why there's a queue. So if you want good gelato, you go where the queue is. Um, guys, my thighs. In between my thighs, I'm sweating. Like Tina. Are you still thinking you're fanning your thighs? <gasps> like, it's so hot! Guys, you sweat so much, like, I literally thought I peed myself, but like, it's not. It's just like, it's so hot, like, like it's unbearable. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. It's okay. You expected better. Mm. Move. Cars just pass everywhere here. Mm. Go see. This cars trying to get through all these people. She got cream. I'm sorry. Right. Guys, this was the real Durban July. <laughs> the real Durban July. They used to have horse races here and people would watch them in these buildings. So, the real Durban July. <laughs> and we got you in a Vienna. <laughs> We are inside a Roman church. Older than the Colosseum. Yeah. Older than the Colosseum. Yeah. And what about the, the temple yeah. of the temple of all the gods before? Yeah. When oh, temple of all the gods. When we were like uh, Paris, uh, you know the. Guys, this building is before Christ. It's so old. Thousands and thousands of years old. It's older than the Colosseum since we went to see the Colosseum. Really? Yeah. It's older than the Colosseum. <laughs> Guys, remember we said we were walking Europe? You walk. We're currently on 14k steps today. And it's only... Oh, it's almost 7. Almost 7 p.m. and the sun is shining. So you get so confused. Um, because we started our walk at 4. It was extremely hot. We chose not to up to walk from 10. It was extremely hot then. But yeah, it's really cool. I'll show you guys how full it is over there. Um. So this is the most famous street for shopping. Um, there's like shops everywhere. There's like shops everywhere. We're still doing a walking tour. We're almost eight, but we're about to get to the college soon. So we've been walking for almost like three hours. Oh. Yeah. Valentino, yeah? Do you love Valentino? Mm. So nice, so pretty, but it's just extremely hot. It's almost eight, but it's still hot. Guys, I forgot to tell you. Everything is not so clean, hey? It's dirty. It's a little bit dirty. These streets are very dirty. I don't get it. This was clean. Um, this is a little bit messy for me. Like, these certain streets, I smell like a lot of piss. Um, not too, too clean, but there's like a lot of people just walking everywhere. People here just generally walk all day. And like, the cars that they drive are really small if they do have cars. There's a few people with big cars out there, but like, Wow, and these churches on like every second, almost every third building of the church. So many churches, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know if 
who just saw me point out those gods over there. So there's two gods that stand and protect that fire and they stand there in the sun for like eight hours a day just protecting that fire so that it never goes off. Like 365 days a year there's like after eight hours there's gonna be two new gods that come in and they switch shifts which is like a crazy like job to have. Even at the Vatican there's like um, currently like guys that stand there and they hold a shield like this all day and they're not allowed to move can't even like like you know you just stand like that for eight hours a day it's so crazy and i asked the guy how much they earn and he's like well it's good enough to make the sacrifice to actually stand in the sun that long like today has been extremely hot unbearable and they can't move and go to the toilet nothing just stay eight hours a day Wow, guys. Wow. Uh, but from here, the Vatican is actually, I mean, not the Vatican, the Colosseum is not that far. It's on the other side. I'll show you. So from here, the Colosseum is just somewhere over there. So we're going to walk there. Basically, the main purpose of the Colosseum was to entertain the people of Rome. Um, the gladiators used to like fight and stuff, um, and obviously someone would be the winner. And I guess that's that's just boys for you, hey. Um, right now it is eight o'clock, eight in the evening. Managed to do 20k steps already. Your girl's gonna come back looking fine. I wanna have some fine ass legs after this. <laughs> this is the best, this is the best spot to take photos of the Coliseum in the background. As you can see, everyone is like queuing here. We're gonna have to wait for them to finish. Yeah. Hey! Guys. It's very, very good. Oh, wow. And I'm happy my... Doing great. Best place to get your photo with the Coliseum is right here, guys. If you come, it's right on this corner here. Okay? First, you have a look to the prices, and if it's okay, you can eat there. Okay. I want to drink, 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 drink. What? You want to drink more? I'll oh, say hi. <laughs> this is our guide, guys. He's been taking us everywhere the whole day. Another guy. I'm just. <laughs> You're just a guy. I'm just a guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a guy. Is this tea? Did you say that's the blood tea? No. Remember her guys from Greece? Oh, okay. back again. My mom, my mom, my, mom, my traveling mom. You <laughs> and we are out of the train station, back in the streets. Oh, it's so hot still. Let me see if I can tell where we are. I have no idea where we are. I have no idea where we are to be honest. Yeah. No idea, no clue. Your first time that you're getting the subway. Guys, we're back in the hotel room. Please tell me how did we get to 23,000 steps today? 
like the walking i'm so tired like it feels like i was actually explaining to someone so we sat down at dinner now and i was explaining that like the way my body feels like after we got up it felt like you know you know how a nando's chicken is like split open like it feels like i've been split open the whole day and everything just felt like out of place yo i'm in so much pain the only thing about me is that i don't think we walk enough bruh mm. like 23k steps that's so, so crazy so my battery's flashing probably gonna charge this um tomorrow is our last day in rome we've got a free day so me and tina need to figure out what we're gonna do hi boo yeah we need to figure out what we're gonna do but yeah i'm so tired there's tina in bed i'm so tired guys i'm so tired wow um thanks to tina for the earrings because they really did the things for me today I <laughs> coming yeah bonga thank you sissy yes take them where you found them thank you another one thank you <laughs> <laughs> guys we are thrifting found some nice um stuff these are like literally five euros which is like 85 rand each tina let's see your items you got so many tina i see never ready you guys she's on it hold yo i miss winter now i miss winter yeah so that's what i got I only had to highlight my dress because I've got no air going in and it's Guys, it is so beautiful here. The architecture, I cannot. Like the ceiling looks like we are on the like that's like the tenth floor of a building or something. That's how high it is. Buzo. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Guys, it's so stunning. I feel like standing in the queue was worth it. So it is free to come in here to see. Um, like it's just so huge. Like I don't even know what to say. It's so huge. So free entry you just need to stand in the long shoes and it's like currently 34 that's why i'm wearing this hat guys and this hat's from sheen um but yeah honestly wow i've never seen something so beautiful like like the attention to detail like if you love architecture if you love like old buildings and just like looking at stuff you would fall in love my goodness wow I'm astonished. I'm, I'm lost for words. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. I mean, like, I feel like when you travel, every country is different. Like, here it's all about the culture, it's all about like the old buildings, um, the history. So, it's been so nice learning like like especially the guided tour yesterday like just learning about some of those buildings like some of those things are so ancient like before christ so like some certain buildings are like three thousand years old three thousand like that is a hell of a long time okay so i think you can actually like if you wanted to pray like you can because there's people sitting down for prayers um so it's basically like a big church yeah i just don't know the story um we do have a guided tour later again at four but i don't know what the story is about this so i'm probably gonna like google it yes I'm 
so sweet, but you're dynamite. I just want to dance with you. Feeling that burn, I'm not getting out. Yeah, yeah. Baby, you make me lose my mind. Maybe you want to stay the night. Time goes fast, I don't care. I've known you long enough. <laughs> So guys, they're changing now. So they do this for eight hours in a day, and then they swap. So now he's going to stand here for 8 hours, those guys have knocked off, shift done, his shift starts and he's going to stand like that for 8 hours guys. It's great. I love it. It's um, very Italian. <laughs> the pistachio is good, eh? Hey? It's great. Oh, it's if you're planning to pack sandals, just don't do it. If you're planning to pack sandals coming here, don't do it. Wear sneakers. My sneakers are so dirty. Wow. Just don't do it. It's no vlogging. Mali is suffering. Don't do it. Mali, why did you wear sandals today? Don't do it. Bad idea. <laughs> Your feet. Bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, honestly, I'm wearing um, running shoes and my feet hurt so much. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see how many steps I'm on currently for the day. I'm on 6,000 steps, but my feet were from yesterday as well. Yesterday we did like 23,000 steps in total. So, Talk to me, babe. Fight for me, babe. Need you to hear me. Never have I felt this way. I hope you feel the same. I'm gonna lose it out of control. Eh, eh, uh huh. Looking so sweet, but you're dynamite. I just wanna dance with you. Feeling that burn, I'm not getting out. Yeah, yeah. Baby, you make me lose my mind. Maybe you wanna stay the night. Time goes fast.
fell for you, you made it easy for me, yeah. Nothing that you could ever do would make me leave you, baby. I fell for you, you made it easy for me, yeah. Nothing that you, baby, you make me lose my mind. Maybe you wanna stay the night. Time goes fast, I don't care. I've known you long. Guys, I can't like the food here. I'm so tired of it. So today we opted for Burger King because I can't do pasta. I can't do any more croissants. I don't want to see pizza. Like I just can't do carbs right now. Well, it sounds a bit of carbs, but I'm just so tired of like Italian food. And also like I feel like Italian food is a bit overhyped because like it hasn't been great. Yet. But the food. Is good. Well, I've had pizza. It's been okay. It's been okay. But I didn't have that thing. Yeah, but I'm gonna have Burger King now. Morning, Lisa. Morning, morning. <laughs> morning, guys. We're at the train station. Um, Obviously, I don't look so cute this morning, but I'm so tired. I feel like I'm getting the feet. Oh, our tickets? Our tickets? Yes! Oh, that's the register. Present! Present! <laughs> I just got my tickets for the train. So we're about to go on the train, and I think it's like six hours. Yeah. Guys, this is almost going to be the end of, um, when we get on the train, it's going to be the end of our uh, road. But I'll show you guys the train before we end that. Yeah, it's such a big train station. Go under the tunnel, but yes, I just like, oh my god, like right now. Oh. <laughs> 